Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a wonderful day again. What a powerful, what a powerful day, again. day again. What a wonderful, what a wonderful morning, again. morning again. The Lord has given, Lord has another given us another day. We glorify his holy name. We praise his holy name. Welcome, 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 welcome. We were having a small technical issue, but uh, it has been solved. Now we are ready to move on. You know, Satan has a way of trying to torment us, but God is always faithful. I believe wherever you are, you can hear me clear and sound. May the Lord bless you. Welcome to everyone. Without taking much time, I would like us to go to the scripture that will take us deeper again into the things of God. And before we read it, just take one minute. Thank God. Open your mouth. Thank him. Thank him. Speak to him one minute. Tell God, I need you more and more. This morning, my God, there is nothing else I need more than you. I need you, Jehovah. I need you, Master. I need you, Father. I need you, Creator. Father, reveal yourself to me. Father, reveal your power to me. Father, I need your presence more than ever before. Jehovah, I need you. Father, I need you. You are wonderful. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are everlasting. You have given me another day. Reveal the mysteries of your kingdom to me. Let me experience you in a mighty way. Let me experience you in a powerful way. Let your glory fill me again. Ah, let your power overtake me today. Let everything that concerns me be guided by you. Let you, my Father and my Savior, take the glory and be the God I love. My Father and my God, let the thought of my heart, everything that goes around me, bring back glory to you. Let it be known that I am nothing without you. Let it be known that I am nothing without you. With you, all things in me function. For your reason, I am who I am today. And for your glory, I will be who I will be forever. My God and my Father, take over and rule over my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Wow. Give us the revelation. Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 will be the scripture we will read today and as we move forward remember we are discussing on uh, how to go deeper to command the deeper things how to go deeper and command deeper things how to go deeper and call up powerful things how to come up beyond levels, how to come up beyond limits, so that you may be able to call those things which are not as if they are, how to become somebody who sees what is hidden in the secret places, how we become somebody who can call things that other people are not being able to call, how to become somebody who can command things beyond uh, the, the reach of our humankind. Revelation 4, verse 1, 1, to 3, call. After these things, I looked and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which had was, which, uh, which I had was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, come up here. I repeat again, come up here. I repeat again, come up here. Which means, leave the level ground. Come up here. And I will show you things 
which must take place after this. I repeat again there. And, uh, uh, and the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here. I am feeling in my spirit that somebody is about to leave the level ground and come up. I feel in my spirit that somebody today will leave the level ground to come up so that God may show you things which must take place after this. Everyone is asking a question, what next due to what we are undergoing? What next? And we can keep on asking ourselves those questions until the end. One after the other, you are asking people questions. What is going to happen next? What will happen next? What will happen next? The reason is because the human kind, the human race, the human nature is to see what is present. But we are not capable of seeing what can come after the situation we are going through. We are not capable of knowing what is hidden in tomorrow. We are not capable of knowing what is hidden in darkness. What our eyes can see is what we can only understand. What our ears can hear is what we can only understand. But it takes another step to leave the human level and come up or go deep into the spiritual things and when you go deeper God starts revealing to you things that will come after what is happening when you start going deeper into the things of God God opens your eyes and your ears to be able to see and to hear what will come next the ability to know what next for you ability to know how is your future looking like ability to know how is your tomorrow looking like does not come by you going to a prophet to prophesy it comes when you go up or when you go deeper into the things of God so that you may start be able to see and to hear what God has for you in store. I pray that God will help you to stop looking for prophecies all over and yourself you become the prophet of your future because when you come up, when you become deeper into the things of the spirit when you become deeper into the things of God, your eyes open and your spiritual eyes when they open, you can and be able to see well yourself where you are coming from, where you are and where you are going. And you are hearing open. You can be able to hear God telling you don't go here, don't do this, do that and approach it this way because you have gone deeper. I pray this morning that somebody will go deeper. How I pray this morning that somebody will go deeper into the things of God. How I pray this morning that you will come up and you will start hearing water you have never heard before. After this series, I can assure you, some of you will receive prophecies over their own lives. Some of you will receive prophecies over your families. After this series, some of you will receive the abilities to lead the things that you are not able to lead. Some of you will receive the hidden secret or the hidden mysteries of the kingdom of God being revealed to you because you have decided to leave the ground level and you have come up, you have started developing, you have started building around you the system of remaining in the deeper secret places of God. Wow, I pray that this morning somebody will hear this word and get it clear that the Lord God will make you grow deeper into the things of God, grow deeper into the spiritual things and coming higher than the level where you have been always because more you come up, more you become sensitive with what God is talking about. I pray that God will help somebody that before we finish this service, somebody will be receiving mighty, mighty, tremendous manifestation of the Spirit in her life or his life. If you are there, say Amen. So, this morning, 
we have read in the book of Revelation and we have come to realize that the voice called this great man called John and the, the voice said come up come up here come up here which means he was somewhere down and he was told come up where you are you cannot be able to see come up so that I may show you things which will take place after this event things which will take place after this time things which will come ahead how I pray that somebody today will desire and be passionate that God will carry you in the spirit that's why we are playing and believing singing that song Holy Spirit carry me carry me Holy Spirit carry me Holy Spirit why because we are sick and tired of being on the level ground where we are being told what is happening where we are being told what will happen unless we watch the news we cannot to know where the nation is going unless we watch the news we cannot understand where things are going and god is telling you leave the level of being informed what has been already cooked come up i show you fresh things come up i show you what will happen next come up and i will reveal to you the secret of the kingdom come up and i will reveal to you what is in your life and what must not be in your life come up today i pray that somebody will come up i pray that somebody will come up so that you may stop crying for what you are supposed to be rejoicing over so that you may stop rejoicing over what you are supposed to be crying over when you come up god start revealing to you the realities of life god start revealing to you the truth hidden behind what you are going through god start revealing to you some of the things that you have never understood you are limiting yourself because you have refused to grow when you start growing spiritually when you start becoming mature in the spiritual realm when you start becoming stronger in the things of god and you start coming up god will start revealing to you some things which will help your fear to disappear which will help your hopeless life to disappear which will help some enemies just to evaporate when you start coming up god reveals things which are so deeper and wider beyond explanation Oh, I pray this morning that somebody's coming up. I say somebody's coming up. I say somebody's coming up from this life of sleeping and slumbering, from the life of just being there. You are there just waiting for a summon to come. You don't even know who will preach to you today. You don't even know who will talk to you today. Your work is to, 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 to sleep your TV. You move from one channel to another. To see nani umeko na ongea. Nani umeko na prophesy. For you to wait and see if your name will be mentioned. That is a lower level of Christianity. That is the lowest level of a child of God. Waiting for somebody who will appear on a TV. You don't know even who is that person. Or who will appear on a social media to come and prophesy to you. Those are the levels where you are supposed to live today. God wants you to move to the level where yourself you become the prophet of your own life because you have become deeper and your people can only come and consult and ask you what is God saying because they know for sure when you pray you hear God. When you kneel down God talks to you. When you do things you don't do them by guessing but you do them by the clear voice of God. How I pray that somebody will come up today and leave the level of childish behaviors and live of the uh, live the level of uh, child childish christianity whereby you are a christian for many years but you still behave like a child who got born again yesterday a child who doesn't understand any principle of the kingdom how i pray that today this morning it will be a desire that god i need you to reveal yourself more and more in my life so that i may be able to conquer and to finish what i began Oh, somebody say, I'm coming up. Somebody confess, say, today I'm coming up. Somebody say, I'm coming up. Somebody say, in the spiritual realm, I'm coming up. Somebody say, in my prayer life, I'm coming up. Somebody say, in the desiring things of God, I'm coming up. In desiring the things of the kingdom, I'm coming up. Somebody say, this morning, there is nothing I need than to come up into the area where God can be able to reveal things to me. I am refusing to remain on the level ground. Let my spirit be filled. Let my spirit be filled. Let my spirit be filled. Let my heart be filled. Let everything around me be filled. Oh, Rakaraba Shakarabaraba Shandarabaraba Shakarabayanda, Ripoka Bagapa Shandarabaraba. 
Tarabayanda. Let somebody start desiring it as we go with this lesson, as we go with these teachings, as we go with this word of God. Let somebody already start desiring that God let it be me, let it be my desire every single day, every morning, every evening, every noon time, and every night. Let it be my desire that I will be coming up every single time so that I may be able to understand what is going on around, so that I may be able to see and to be aware, so that I may not always be taken captive by this by the event which are happening in my life. Some of the things could amamba boy and atendeka ko maisha yako na yanatokezea kila siku kama vile mshituko kwa sababu nishaka kataa kuinuka katika mambo ya kiroho ili kwamba wewe unaelewa yale yanayokuja ili kwamba wewe unajua ni nini inayotaka kutokea ili kwamba wewe unaelewa ni nini inayokuja mbele yako. Kuna vita ambavyo haungelifaa kuvipigana kwa sababu ungelikuwa umeinuka kiroho ungeliviona vile vilikuwa vinakuja. Kuna vitu ambavyo ungelikuwa unavipitia kwa sababu ungelikuwa umeamuka kiroho ungelivisense vile vinavyokuja lakini upofu wa kiroho unakuruhusu kukanyaga mahali usingelikanyaga upofu wa kiroho unakufanya kuingia mahali usingeliingia upofu wa kiroho unakufanya kugongana na vitu usingeligongana navyo kimaisha kwa sababu umekataa kukomaa kiroho kwa sababu umekataa kuchazwa na nguvu za Mungu kwa sababu umekataa kumelelea Bwana asubuhi na mchana kwa sababu umekataa kumkaribisha katika maisha yako kwa sababu kuna moja kumuongelesha Bwana kila siku juu yake unataka kuna kingine kukuwa committed kwa kutaka kuinuka kwa sababu hatuinuke bure tukitaka kuinuka kuna kitu inaitwa the power of the gravity power of the gravity ndio uwe na tushika inaturudisha kwa udongo sasa inahitaji mtu ambaye ata break gravity power ili kwamba apande juu maana yake kukomaa sio ya watoto kukomaa ni determination ah maana yake kupanda juu kiroho sio ya kukuja tu kwa silver plate ni kitu ambao una hapa na kuapia ya kwamba haijalishi mateso na magumu na vita ninavyovipitia nimekataa kwanza kubaki kwa hii ngazi siwezi kuwa napigana na mapepo ya shilingi kumi kila siku nimekataa kupigana na vitu ambavyo wengine huwa hawapigani navyo tena nimekataa kubakia wa kuombea mahitaji ambazo wengine wameshakamalizana nazo bwana inua viwango vyangu vya kiroho ili kwamba nigongane na vitu ambavyo ni vya miaka yangu sitakuwa napigana na watoto wa miaka mbili wakati mimi mwenyewe nimekuwa katika umri ya kukomaa sitaendelea kuwa napigana na watu wadogo wakati mimi mwenyewe bwana ameshanijenga kiroho sasa bwana inua viwango vyangu vya kiroho ili kwamba vilingane na vile ambavyo umeniita kama kuna mtu anaongea naye ah asubuhi ya neema utaambia bwana nipe neema nikomae nipe neema nikomae nimeapa sitabaki chini nimeapa sitabaki chini listen and listen carefully there is a level where you can listen to god and not be able to hear him i repeat there is a level where you can listen to god and you can desire to listen to god and not be able to hear him the second level there is another one where you hear him now but without understanding i start if you are able to write you can write down the first level in the spirit you desire to listen to god and not be able to hear him but the second level there is another one where you hear him but you are not able to understand what he's saying because you are growing you know growing is step after step step after step many of the people at the first level when they desire to hear god and they cannot hear him they quit and they go i came to tell you it takes time for things of god to be trusted into you it takes time for the things of god to be trusted unto you because child of god i can assure you that salvation is free going to heaven is free when you give your life to christ you are ready for heaven but being used by god is costly when god want to use you there are things he tests in you if you are capable of carrying them faithfully for him to drop in you other things that are not common to humankind for god to use you he must 
trust you and that trust comes as a result of the taste of fire that you have gone through, taste of time that you have gone through and taste of distance that you have gone through. Sometimes God will go quiet on you to taste if you can be faithful without seeing him. Sometimes God will put you through fire to taste if you will remain faithful even when you are going through fire. Sometimes God will put you through a test of time and he makes what you are praying for take longer to see if you can still trust him. Well, things are not happening as you are saying them to happen. Sometimes God will take you through those three time steps to see your faithfulness and your loyalty to him. I repeat again, sometimes God will take you through the test of time and test of fire and test of the distance. Those three tests are the tests that God uses to see how loyal and faithful you are to him. So when you are asking God, I want to hear you, don't think that he will just pop out and start hearing me. Because hearing him for a personal issue is is different from hearing him for a life guidance for a spiritual life guidance when you start hearing God for a spiritual life guidance you are not just receiving a gift of prophecy but is aligning you in the office of the prophet so that you may become a prophet of your life and a prophet of your people so when you are asking God for things endure and wait for him because his time of visitation may be different from your calendar may be different from what you are looking for. So the first level is the level where you can listen to God, yet you are not able to hear him. The second level is the level where you can now start hearing him, but you are not able to understand him. And don't give up as you are more going up. Those are staircases that a Christian goes through. You reach your first staircase whereby you can listen to God and you will not hear anything. Don't give up. Wait and move on. Keep on climbing in the spirit. You will reach a level whereby you start now hearing him, but you cannot interpret what he's saying. You cannot understand some of the dream you receive. You need somebody to interpret them to you because you are at the level of hearing, but not understanding. Some of the things that you hear him talking, you don't know if it is him talking because you cannot understand the kind of things he's talking about. When you are praying for wedding, you start seeing him showing you some people going up and above and seeing some things happening like this and you wonder, what is this? I'm not praying for what I'm seeing. You are at the level of hearing him, but you are not understanding him. Don't give up. Keep on coming up. Keep on going deeper. Keep on moving because it takes courage to finish a mountain. It takes courage to reach at the top. It takes courage to understand how to climb a mountain. I can assure you, I will never forget in 208 when I went to a mountain and we were climbing a mountain. A mountain around Naivasha and when we went to climb that mountain, I am telling you, child of God, people began but few finished. I remember when we were climbing Gong Hills most of the time, people will come and go. In Gong Hills, there are seven steps to take. People will come and reach the first, second, third and they will give up there and they cannot continue. Why? Because climbing is not for children. Climbing is a game of mature people. Climbing is a game of determination. So if you want to climb to the level of seeing beauty of the land, you have to pull your muscles and to say enough is enough. It is painful but it will pay ahead. It is painful but it will pay ahead. I cannot keep on being a slave of people. Kwa nini Isaya alirudishwa? Kwa nini Mungu akumujibia direct? Kwa sababu Isaya alikuwa amekiri kifo, ilibidi Isaya aje akiri maisha. Unapoanza kumuingia ndani katika mambo ya Mungu, wote waliokiri vifo Bwana tawarudisha waje wakiri uhai kwako. Wote waliokiri ma, 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 maisha kuisha, Bwana tawarudisha kutangaza maisha yameanza. Naomba asubuhi ya leo anza kupanda katika mambo ya kiroho. Acha kunyamaza, yawezekano kukwangazi ya, kuli, ya kutaka kusikia sauti ya Mungu na uweze kusikia 
usivunjike moyo sote tuko na safari na sote hatujafika yawezekana mahali niko sio mahali huko lakini kuna wengine wako ahead of me i am pulling and i'm pushing every single day to move again because nobody in the kingdom of god has reached the level where god wants you to reach every single day god is new and his power appears new so we keep on climbing and we keep on climbing that the reason why things that i was desiring to do yesterday they are not the things i'm desiring today i am desiring another level today and there are things that god will reveal to me and graduate me into the other levels because he has observed my faithfulness and he has observed the way i'm walking because those are the things that god looks at when he's causing you to move to another level somebody say i'm coming up oh somebody say i'm coming up somebody say i'm coming up somebody say i'm not giving up i'm not giving up come ruin come son i will do the best in my spiritual life to reach the levels of the supernatural where nobody will ever be able to stop me to reach the levels of the supernatural where i will manifest the power of god to reach the level of the supernatural where things of god will be real if the second level is the level where you can hear him but without understanding the third level now is uh, the level where you understand him but not to be able to see what he said the level where you understand what god is saying but you are not able to bring them into reality you understand that god has said you will be abcd but to bring them into reality becomes a problem to bring them into reality becomes a problem you understand you have started hearing him you have started you have, you have started listening to him you have started hearing him you have started understanding him but now what you are understanding is not manifesting and now you need to climb again to the level of manifestation hallelujah 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 i say hallelujah you must move from the level of desiring to listen to god you go to the level whereby you have started hearing god and from the level of hearing god you go to the level of understanding god but and from the level of understanding god you go to the level of now manifesting what you have understand where well, manifestation is another level whereby you have to climb child of god for you to stand like this and say i understand that god is about to heal people and i have understood that god is saying that is about to change this service and now you give room to that service to be changed is another level because many people they hear and they, they listen and hear and after hearing they understand but they don't manifest i pray that you will grow you will go through this ladder and you reach a level of manifesting in the things of god you reach to the level of manifesting in the things of god whereby you walk like this listen child of god it is not just a matter of laying a hand on the sick and the sick is healed is a matter matter of seeing that healing on that person and then when you see it in the spiritual realm you manifest it in the physical and then that person arises and it is not a magic and it was not just made for pastors or for prophets or for apostles it was made for whoever want to grow in the things of god whoever believe whoever believe that's what believe when you start digging it you find that it's not just a matter of just whoever speaks with the mouth but it is whoever go deeper in accepting that God can do this uh, because the level of believer uh, determines the level of manifestation uh, if you believe God can heal malaria but he cannot heal cancer you will only be praying for malaria people but if you believe God can heal cancer and God can raise the dead uh, then you will be able to go to that level and if you believe God can catapult people from levels of da- uh, down ground uh, ground level to other levels where people will see the hand of God uh, whatever you believe uh, is what you manifest whatever levels of your belief are that the levels of your manifestation how i pray this morning that wherever you are you will jump from whatever has been limiting you and you'll say god i am climbing the ladder i want to grow deeper into your things para bashakara bara bashanda rabaka bashakara bara bashama rabaka bara bara bashakara bashikara bara bashanda rabaka da bashante re bozikara bara yanto bandere bozie bokara bara bashanda oh what a morning 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 of power what a morning of glory what a morning of power what a morning of glory what a morning of power what a morning of glory 
Yeah, I think uh, before I continue there tomorrow to the next uh, 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 level, I'd really like somebody just to take time now, start telling God, uh, uh, I have searched myself. Uh, probably I'm at this young, uh, this lower level. I want to, my God, uh, to be sure. To, I want to assure my God uh, that I want Him to elevate me. I want to work on my faithfulness. I want to work on my diligence. I want to work on my determination. I want to work on my seriousness. I want to work on my courage in the things of God. I want to engage myself. Uh, I want the Holy Spirit to help me to walk accordingly. Holy Spirit, carry me. Holy. Spirit carry me. Holy Spirit carry me. Holy Spirit take over. Holy Spirit take over. Sometime I desire to pray but the sleep will carry me. Sometime I desire to pray but things will distract me. Sometime I pray, I desire to seek the face of God but my friends will come and take me for raves. My friends will come and take me for dinners which are not determined and defined. Some people sometime when you say you are about to enter into a season of fasting by the time they bring you food. Some people sometime when you say I want to enter into the secret place of the most high and seek the face of God that the time they come up with some shenes around your house some people they don't visit you unless they have sensed that you are about to grow in the spiritual level and they come and they pull you down to make sure that you remain again down forever Ah, this time desire to say God if it is surrendering friends I will surrender them if it is surrendering lifestyle I will surrender it if it is surrendering some of the things I've set as standards I will surrender them for one reason my God carry me today Holy Spirit carry me today Holy Spirit carry me today to the deepest level my God carry me today Holy Spirit carry me today Holy Spirit carry me today Day. Some of the friends must live my life for me to be able to enter into the presence of God. Is it not written in the book of Isaiah that when King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. When King Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the Lord. Who are the Uzziahs in our lives this morning that we have to tell goodbye so that we may be able to see the Lord? Somebody will be able to see the Lord after some things have left your life. I don't know what it is that must disappear from your life life. I don't know what it is that must live your life, but you have to make a determination today. Tell God I need you more, and it is not just speaking with my mouth, but I will take precautions. I will put order in my house. I will put order in my calendar. I will decide what to watch and what not to watch. I will decide who to walk with and who not to walk with. I will decide who will come near me and who will not come near me. I will decide things accordingly so that I may come up. I am sick and tired of my friends so-called friends, friends enemies coming and holding me down so that I may never be able to see what is happening, so that they may be the only ones who can help me, my God I am coming up, my God I am coming up, my God I am coming up my father I am sick and tired of these prayers that I do make for two minutes and I have given up, I love Words. Sometimes even I want to pray, but I don't know how to pray. I don't have words to pray. I don't even sustain prayers for 10 minutes, and I feel I have given up. I feel I am tired. I feel I am hopeless. Today, give me strength, Holy Spirit. Give me strength, Holy Spirit. I need to be a prayerful person. I need to be a prayer warrior. I need to be a prayer person. My Holy Spirit, carry me again. My Holy Spirit, carry me today. I desire you, Holy Spirit. 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 More than ever before. More than ever before. More than ever before. Reveal the secret of the kingdom in me. Reveal the hidden secret that I dropped in me by God on the foundation of my life reveal the mysteries of the kingdom that were dropped in me by the day of my creation reveal them to me Holy Spirit reveal them to me Holy Spirit I need you Holy Spirit I need you Holy Spirit 
I need you more than ever before. I need you more than ever before. I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Ghost, I need you more than ever before. Holy Ghost, I need you more than ever before. Holy Ghost, I need you more than ever before. I need you more than ever before. In my life, in my life, in my desire, my desire is to have you. My desire is to have you. Nothing else but you, Holy Spirit. Nothing else but you, Holy Spirit. Not the distractions of my life, not the distraction of my family, not the distraction of my own past, not the distraction of my friends. I need you, Holy Spirit. I need you, Holy Spirit. I need you, Holy Spirit. Carry me today. 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 You tell Holy Spirit, reveal to me the vocabularies of prayer, reveal to me the vocabularies of the kingdom of God, reveal to me, reveal to me, you are the teacher, teach me how to pray for long, teach me how to, 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 to stay in prayer, teach me, teach me how not to cease by seeking the face of God. Teach me, Holy Spirit, reveal to me. Open in me the rivers, the living waters. Let them flow, the springs of the power of God. Let it be opened today. I desire to see the flow of the waters of the living waters in me again. I desire to see. Mito Yamaji, Mito Yamaji, Mito Yamaji, Mito Yamaji, Yanza Kumujika Tera, Yanza Kumujika Tera, Ili Kwamba ni Apuke Sandu, Ili Kwamba ni Kimbia Bali, Ili Kwamba ni Inuke Joe, Ili Kwamba ni Oni Mambo, Ili Kwamba ni Sikia Mambo, Yakiro Bila Shida, Ili Kwamba ni Eleo Mambo, Yakiro Bila Shida, Ili Kwamba ni Jue, Ni Vita Vyaina Gani Vina Jupanga, Nani Furaya, Ina Gani Nio Beleangu. Oh, Yes, 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 Baba inua viwango viwango leo Baba inua viwango viwango leo Inua viwango viwango leo Nipe neema baba Ya kuwamusha unabiu liondani yangu Ni hacha kuutafutia inje Ya kuwamusha unabiu liondani yangu Ni hacha kuutafutia kwa watu Nipe neema baba ni komai katika mambo yako Nipe neema ni komai katika kusoma neno Nipe neema ni komai katika maombi Nipe neema ni komai katika kuelewa vitu yako Nipe neema, nipe neema, nipe neema Nipe neema, nipe neema, nipe neema Nipeneema, nipeneema baba Nipeneema, nipeneema waba Nipeneema, nipeneema kibiliwa Nipeneema, nipeneema adodai Nipeneema, nipeneema mwamba wangu Nipeneema, nipeneema adodai wangu Nipeneema, nipeneema siku ya leo Na kuitaji, 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 na kuitaji baba, na kuitaji mwamba, na kuitaji jehova, na kuitaji kibilio, na kuitaji mwamba, na kuitaji mweza, na kuitaji mtendaji, na kuitaji edonai, na kuitaji bwana wangu, na kuitaji mtendaji wangu, na kuitaji bwana wangu, jifunue kwangu tena bwana, jifunue kwangu tena bwana. Jifunue kwangu tena bwana jifunue kwangu upya leo asubuhi ya neema na ya baraka jifunue kwangu tena bwana jifunue kwangu tena jehova jifunue kwangu tena adonai jifunue kwangu tena mwanza jifunue kwangu tena mwamba itaji itaji yangu leo baba nikuwa na nguvu za kupea ndani yangu sio kwa sababu ninataka ujumu mahitaji yangu lakini ninataka bwana uniinue katika viwango nipeleke baba katika viwango vya vilindi ambapo ambapo watu wengi wanaogopa kufika 
lakini hapo ndipo nipeleke baba nipeleke viwango vya dhulindi bali watu wengi wanaogopa kufika baba nipeleke viwango vya dhulindi bali ambapo hata kama dhuluma ingelikuwa namna gani umenitia nguvu ya kutembea juu ya maji umenipa uweza na mamlaka umenipa nguvu na nguvu uweza wako juu yangu mamlaka yako juu yangu rabaka rabashaka rabaraba rika rabaraba shonda rabaraba rika rabaraba shonda riburubuza rika rabaraba shonda riburubuza rika rabaraba shonda riburubuza karaba rika rabaraba yonde riburubuza ma rika rabaraba shonda riburubuza karaba rika rabaraba shonda riburubuza rika rabaraba yonde riburubuza karaba rabaraba yonde riburubuza karaba rabaraba ma rabaraba shonda riburubuza Rika rabara 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 sandiru yanda ya rabara rabara sakara bayanda rika rabara 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 sandiru rika rabara 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 yanda rabara 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 baka rabara 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 sandiru rika 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 rabara 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 rabara
Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Redeemer. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you for what you have done in your people's life. Thank you for what you have done today. Thank you for the manifestation and determination to take them up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for what you have destroyed in their carnal lives. Thank you for what you have taken away, my God. Thank you for what you have done in their lives. Thank you for the manifestation of your power. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for this wonderful morning of manifestation. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Let us meet in the evening exactly at 8 to command our night. May you flow today. Remain in the presence of God. Remain in the presence of God. Just add that song. Just add that song. Let people of God just take one time, one minute, one minute or two. Just talk to God. God is visiting you. God is doing wonders. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord sustain you. You are the blessed of the Lord. I am proud of you. It's a great honor to serve you. It's a great honor to minister to you. May the Lord's power be upon your life forever. You are such a wonderful family. I love you, my people. I love you so much. And I thank God for you. Wherever you are, we may not be together physically, but just know that you are in my heart. And I pray for you every moment. Not just now, but every single hour. You are in my prayers. That the Lord may make you great and expand you in every area. May you flow and grow in the things of God. May you be overflowed by the power of God. And may the presence of God be real in all what you do. I love you, I love you, I love you. And may the Lord bless you. Let us meet at 8 as again we command our night. Be blessed. Amen.